Good evening all, this is Jean. I'm here in Kagane. Um, about to take on the level 70 Astrologian quest. It's taken me a bit to get here, but I'm finally here. So, let's get her done, shall we? Foxfire. Kyoku appears frantic and Master Murakumo is nowhere to be found. I'm sorry if I'm tearing up his name. Bryce, thank the stars you're finally here. It's almost been four bells since Master Murakumo left on his daily inspection of the bonds. He mostly just he most likely just stopped to warm his belly along the way, but I can't help wondering if something's worse. Will you help me search for the old man? We can start at the closest shrine in Rakasui Gardens. Sweet gardens. That's not too far from here. Let's down this way. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> oh, these fakers right here. Well, any sign of him? Mm -mm. Where could he be? You don't suppose he tried anything foolish, do you? With the bonds as weak as they are, any manner of disturbance could rouse the golden fox, and the master is no longer of an age to defend himself. Defend himself against what? A maid could walk the streets naked and unattended, carrying a gold-filled sack, and not have so much as a finger laid upon her. Or are you spreading more lies about angry spirits to sow fear so that she might offer your protection in exchange for Bugio's ransom. I've done no such thing. I've merely bid my fellow geomancers aid the city in its time of need. Not once have I asked compensation for what I see. If anything, it is you who seek to prey on the citizenry in ignorance. Ha! Huh. Says this talentless hack who waves his great-grandfather's name around like he does his member wow what the hell oh my god your lies are growing scale Kyo -ko. continue sprouting them and not only do you solely our craft but the very legacy of grandmaster kazan what would he say to this nonsense are you even listening to me why does no one listen to me? All I desire is to mend my great-grandfather's magic and save Kugane. I do not seek coin. I do not seek fame. Why is that so hard for you to grasp? Ugh. We are wasting our time here, Bryce. Let us continue to s the search for Master Morikumo at the Westernly Shrine. Boy, those guys are assholes. Uh, let's see... Funny Dory Markets. Alright. Uh, let's see, how far is he away? Not too far. Hmm. Uh, I think I've gone the wrong way. Oh shoot. I think I did. Uh let me see. Let's jump down here. I always get lost around this area of Kigane. I don't know why. <sighs> You'd think I'd be used to this place by now, but alas, that is not the case. Ah, here they are. Mm. 
Master Murakuro, Kumo, are you hurt? The bond was nearly undone. I tried to, but the... Ugh! Kinko, she's here. She's already through. We, we need to perform the blood ritual. It is the only way. No, I have already told you. My great-grandfather spurned the, innocent, the spilling of innocent blood to complete the ritual, to complete the seal, and so have I. Besides, even if we were to conduct the ritual, there is no one to sacrifice. Then I shall be the sacrifice, Kyoku. For the many years since your grandfather passed, my sole purpose has been to find a means to mend Kazan's barrier. It would be the greatest honor knowing that my death, I might not only save the city, but be granted the opportunity to watch over it f for eternity. No, I cannot let you die, Master. Listen to what you are saying, Kuoko. You cannot let me die. I want to do this. It is my decision to make and mine alone. Let not the selfishness in your heart distract you from what needs to be done. You're wrong, Master. There must be another way. There is always another way. There is always hope. Right, Bryce? Tell me, how do we save Kagane? It's simple. Use astrology. Duh. Stop focusing on the bonds and look to the fox? What do you mean, Bryce? What he means? I'll tell you exactly what he means. Lady Laveva, how did you... Where did you... Why did you... Lady Laveva! <laughs> Your powers of observation never cease to amaze me, Kyoko. I, it is me, in the flesh. Fresh off a galley put into port this very morn. The symposium was a rousing success. The vault quick to realize the benefits my school's wisdom could bring when applied to the rebuilding of Ishgard. It was even decided that several new courses in Charlene astrology were to be taught at the Scholastic starting next term. And so, with my father's dream fulfilled, I was finally free to pursue whatever I wished, and I wished to learn more geomancy. So here I am, and not a moment too soon by the looks of it. In the few bells I spent exploring the city for leads as to your whereabouts, I learned much and more about our pretender and his end is nigh advocacy. So I began testing the bonds of this barrier myself. It did not take long to realize that it was Kyoko who was speaking verily and his detractors the true pretenders. So, you'll help us mend the bonds? But how? Bryce and I have already tried using energies drawn from the heavens, and that only worked to delay the inevitable. The Guardian Spirit's strength has grown so great that only the only thing that might hold her now is a new barrier anchored with bonds of lifeblood. But this I cannot allow. As always, Kyo Kuo, Kyo Kuo, your hasty charge into a difficult answer blinds you from the simple solution. For so long you have focused on mending your great-grandfather's bonds when you should have focused on Kinko herself. If her wrath can be quelled, then a barrier will no longer be needed. In the heavens, there exists two sects which influence the type of energy that dominates the plane, nocturnal and diurnal. The former draws energies from the moon within the power to repel and protect. My guess is that this is what you and Bryce used to mend the bonds before. The second sect, however... The diurnal draws energy from the sun. Energy to calm and to heal. So, you're saying that if we use aspect that benefit under the diurnal sect, it will soothe Kinko so that we may convince her to stay her attack? giving you time to relay your great-grandfather's bloodless bonds, but it will only work if Kinko is first weakened herself. Oh shoot. 
I hope I can change before this starts. <laughs> right. Weakened. Wait. Weakened? Won't attacking, but won't attacking Kinko and her minions simply anger the spirit even more? Before something can be healed, it must first be hurt. It is a sound plan, Kyoko. And if it turns out you still require a sacrifice, I... There will be no sacrificing tonight, tomorrow, or ever. The stars have foretold our victory and will provide us the strength we need to see our enemy overcome. That's what I like to hear. Follow me then to Kagane Castle. The spirits are certain to be drawn there. Okay, let me change real quick. There we go. Okay. Await the final showdown outside Kagane Castle. Alright, let's go to the Ruby Bazaar. Let's see. Mm, where am I at? <laughs> I'm always asking where I'm at. I never know where I'm at in this place, I swear. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry, this is taking a little bit longer than it actually should. Ah, here we go. Okay, so... Uh, which will be closer? Uh, probably the Ruby Bazaar. So we'll go back there. And then just go up from there. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Duty calls commence battle for Foxfire. If your level is above 70, it will be synced. The very hells have opened! Who will save us? Tinkonto, we just walked up all those steps for a final showdown at Kagane Castle, and now we have to walk all the way back down to ten. Right, mouth shut. <laughs> Kinko will seek to draw our attention away from her by sowing chaos in the streets. Kyoko, you focus your energies on the fox. Bryce, you make swift work of her angry supplements. Supplicants, I shall provide you both with support from the rear. Kiko is attacking the citizens of Kagane. We have to save them.
What is the smell? The blood of he who dare keep me from a rifle to me. Kazan.
Oh, nocturnal set. Oh, shoot. There we go. Okay. <sighs> this wasn't too bad of a fight. <clears throat> Kinko is calmed. Now lay the bonds and complete your great grandfather's ritual. Hmm. May the rivers of heaven and earth, wind and water, flow together as one. May their currents clean this lands of its impurities and see it ever guarded. May the wrath that once held rule be carried to the seas where it may for, where it be forgotten. That is wrong. Um where it should be forgotten for eternity. It is done. Together we have saved Kagane and with it torn down the walls that separated our two schools. This will be a day long remembered. The day a new hope was born. I don't know how to begin to thank you, both of you. Normally, I would say that this uncharacteristic display of humility is more than enough thanks, but I still require one thing in return for my assistance, a promise that this is not the end. Of course it's not the end. This is just the beginning, a new beginning for both geomancy and astrology. There's so much to be done. First, we'll need to write down all that happened here today. Then I'll need to... <laughs> so, this is Kagane, eh? Not bad. <sighs> Jean Quinard. Jean Quinard, what in the seventh heaven name are you doing here? I explicitly stated in my letter that you were not to follow me. Lady Laveva, I am disappointed. You of all people should know that had you wanted me to stay put, you should have rather demanded that I come. Yes, yes, whatever was I thinking. <laughs> May I say that I am honored to have before me the, more, the foremost authorities on astrology, your display last night taught me there's still much I must learn about my own school. Something I would not have been able to do had I er, allowed myself to be sacrificed. Kyokuo, I, I wanted to, uh, to appall, appall, to apologize. There, I said it. I still despise you and that smirk of yours, but I can see I was mistaken about you being a pretender. You have talent, almost as much as I. You will make a worthy rival. 
<laughs> Coming from you, Odoku, I'll take that as a compliment. Lady Leveva, under any other circumstance, I would be on a bark headed back to Aorzea this very evening to complete my training as an astrologian. But there is something I need to do first. Just as you fought to educate Ishgard of your school, I must do the same here in Kagane with mine. A geomancy unfaithful to the teachings of the masters he uh, a geomancy unfaithful to the teachings of the masters has poisoned this city for too long. A wise decision, one that was n surely not easy for you to make. Take as much time as you need, Kyoko. See the ship ride it. See truth prevail. The stars will guide you back to us when the hour is right. Don't you worry, Lady Laveva. Give me a few summers and I'll have an entire army of geomancers trained by yours truly lining up at your desk. An entire army of kill clothes. <laughs> What? Is that a problem? <laughs> and that is it. And I get Slave Draw. And the Constellation Attire, which, of course, I'm not wearing, so. And that's that. finally finished with all of my mage classes red mage black mage white mage <laughs> astrologian and scholar I am done with all of them and summoner of course I'm done with every single last one of them thank goodness so thank you for coming along on my journeys with all of them and I will see you soon because the only thing that is left for me to work on are my tanks. And that's going to take some time. So, But anyway, until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.